Thanks for staying with us. The Hong Kong Human Rights and Democracy Act of 2019 has been signed into law by U.S. President Donald Trump and is touted by U.S. Congress as a way to deter China's influence and interference in Hong Kong's internal affairs. The U.S. and Hong Kong have a tight trade and financial relationship that's largely built upon the city's trusted position as a relatively safe place to access China. China considers the signing of the bill by President Trump an interference in its domestic affairs and warns that there will be strong countermeasures. As the U.S. and China try to resolve their bitter trade war, all eyes are on how the signing of the Human Rights and Democracy Act will affect talks between both countries. To discuss this, I spoke with international affairs analyst Sonny Ekuosi. International Affairs Analyst Sonia Kulusi, thank you so much yes, for joining I'm, us on Diplomatic I'm very happy Channel. to be here. Yeah. Yes. So yes. firstly, what are your thoughts about the, uh, the, the, what are the implications of the U.S. President signing this, uh, this, this act that could basically allow or mandate an annual review to check if Hong Kong has enough uh, autonomy to justify special status with the U.S.? What are the implications of well, this? Well, that um, laws, I mean, we are all, we saw it coming. Because uh, they were inevitable in the sense that you could not just allow um, pro-democracy protesters to go on weeks and looting and uh, fighting for democracy, demanding for freedom, demanding for civil liberties, and so on and so forth. Well, the implication is that one of them is that some say is first of all is something that is symbolic in the sense that um, it puts China at attention um, in ensuring that freedoms of the people are not just trampled just like that. Mm -hmm. You know, um, you know very well that uh, Hong Kong is uh, strategic in, in the economic uh, um, life where of uh, China and also of the uh, US. You can say that uh, Hong Kong is the economic hub, no, of the two countries. And then you are making the country and then you don't ensure that the freedom and civil liberties of the citizen there are guaranteed. Yeah. So one thing is that, okay, so people say it's symbolic in the sense that henceforth, um, I mean, China is going to ensure that the human rights of those people are not just trampled. But more importantly, it's going to affect the trade deal between the two countries, between China and the U.S. You know that Trump is in the choice of um, signing the trade deal, but yeah. both countries have been meeting and going back and, and forth. Going back and forth when this is happening. But, but China has warned the U.S. to stop interfering in its internal affairs. Yes. Uh, and pro-democracy activists, one of them, Joshua Wong, is calling Joshua for Wong, yes, yes. more countries to sign this act. Yes. Is the U.S. right in signing this act? And do you think more countries will, well, will follow? Well, if you watch, I watch the, the, the commission, I mean the, the U.S. Uh, uh, House, U.S. Congress meeting mm. on, uh, on China. And um, the activists were there to testify. One of them is this George, Jacob, Joshua one that just Joshua, who is uh, very active, very young, but very active and all that. And if you see the testimony from the testimonies, you can see that well that U.S. was right in what it did in signing the in signing the bills because what the bills, what the laws now they are not laws because what the laws are out to uh, checkmate is to ensure that um, the the protection of the human rights and the democratic democracy of, uh, of, uh, of uh, Hong Kong, also to ensure to protect Hong Kong from the uh, abuse of their rights and liberty and so forth. So US is right in the sense that it, somebody has to do something. United Nations is not acting, and no country has said the word. Maybe in subsequent weeks, we are going to hear other countries saying something. But So US is, is right in signing those laws, mm. in, uh, in, uh, in signing those bills into laws so as to ensure that the freedom and liberty of the people of, of uh, Hong Kong are not just violated uh, just like that. I expect other countries to, uh, to sign this, uh, mm -hmm. to sign the laws um, ensuring that the human rights of uh, people of Hong Kong are, uh, but there are, are protected. there are concerns, like you mentioned, that yes, this, yes. this de development can affect the yes. U.S. trade war between the U.S. and China. Yes. And China has warned that it will take countermeasures. Exactly. Do you think China will take strong countermeasures? And what could well, this be? Well, I mean, this is expected. I mean, the, 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 the China... it also has yeah. a lot on the line as well, its yeah. relationship, the trade war between the U.S. and China. Yeah. So. Yes, I, say, I mean, it's expected because what is, is involved in this initial test is ego 
of this country. Ch I mean, China wants to protest. You know that there is always this conflict or this power play between U.S. and China. China is coming, and U.S. is 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 out to show that China is mm -hmm. not. Um, the, 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 the most powerful country in the world. So what is at play at this moment is ego. Okay. Uh, China has made a threat that U.S. is going to pay, their, pay dearly for um, intervening in their, in their internal affairs. I think that in subsequent week, we're going to see um, a kind of rapprochement in the sense of two countries meeting and saying, well, let's see um, how we're going to settle this matter. Because like I said before, the two countries need one another, you know. Trump needs China, and China also needs U.S. and Trump yeah. in view of the deal and all that. You have to, um, you, you, have, you know very well that this, this two, these two countries, they need one another in the sense of protecting their trade and protecting their interests. So I think that it's not going to be a fight for all. They are going to settle it. They are going to have a rapprochement and say, look, okay, this has happened. And uh, let's see how we can move on. Eh? Mm. Um, but what, what, I'm, what I, I, I want to see is, is a stop of the violence that is taking place in Hong Kong at the moment because mm. it's costing uh, that country a lot. A lot yeah. We want to see a stop to that violence. Mm. And then um, maybe after that, then we see a kind yeah. of what's the, going the, to happen later. This, this crisis yeah. has been going on for a very, yes, very a long, long time, time now. Exactly. And uh, you know, it's causing a lot of bad image for the country, yes, for the yeah. city, I beg your pardon. Yes. How can Hong Kong resolve this, especially um, after this month's local elections, which, which saw yes. high gains One. for the pro-democracy the democracy, they won they won. How can they resolve this issue I, I after think is to, is to is to go back to this um, to the doctrine, I mean, to the to the law, you know, when um, Hong Kong was handed over back to to China, there was a promise that they are going to implement this one nation, two systems. I mean, one nation, two systems. They said that the autonomy of Hong Kong should be recognized by China. I mean, it doesn't cost them anything. I mean, let allow freedom, allow yeah. liberty, uh, special religious rights, and all that. To, I mean, to to be fair. Because human rights is something that is innate, is inalienable, you know, something that you can just suppress. I think that's the one way out. China should be able to recognize that these people are human beings and their human rights should be respected. Um, and it, you cannot, at this age of, uh, at this democratic era, suppress mm. people's rights, suppress people's freedom. And at the same time, you, when you, want, you are depending on them because it, 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 they are, you, I mean, it's uh, an economic hub. Mm. I mean, so you have to allow this, you know. Yeah. China cannot eat its cake and mm. have it. It cannot just suppress this people's right and expect mm. to gain everything economically. I think that the only solution is to allow for freedom to, to I mean, to prevail, to al allow for human rights and also universal suffrage, yeah. which the Hong Kong's people are asking for. All so right that there will be election and then they will freely choose their leaders and there will be no interference for China or any other Person. All right, then international Thank you very much. Yes, I'm very happy to be here. Thank you yes, for joining us. Yes, I have to come back. Thanks a lot. Okay, <laughs> Thank thanks. you. Bye. Before we end the program, the first female French Consul General to Nigeria, Laurence Montmeriant, met with women entrepreneurs at a cocktail event in Lagos, Nigeria. Ms. Lawrence spoke about gender equality, the role of women in socio-economic stability of a country. She says women have to be present in every area of life. To promote entrepreneurship spirit in women is very important as well. But you know very often what we, what we can see, and I think this is what is happening in Nigeria, is that women are very involved in all um, areas of um, business and it's very it's very uh, striking in Nigeria ever since I've been here during I've been here for three months and I've met a lot of business women and they are wonderful and it's uh, really encouraging to meet them um, but it's interesting to see that there are not so many women in politics so maybe uh, it, it is going to come as well because women need to be uh, in every area of, uh, of life, not only, uh, uh, not only uh, in um, business. So I think uh, an evening like today is very important to raise uh, awareness and uh, to make uh, women confident that they have their way as well and they will, uh, there will be progress in the years to come, I'm sure. 
And this is where we end the program today. Thank you so much for joining us. Remember, you can catch up on all our episodes on youtube.com forward slash channels web. I'm Tenyola Shoboale. Bye for now. <laughs>